welcome back to me doing a reaction thing to Digimon and the ghost game, the JG. Digimon GG, whatever. It is episode four. It's titled The Doll's Manor. And um The Doll's Manor. I don't know. Uh it, it could just signify just about any Digimon in today's episode. I mean with the whole hologram ghost and stuff. Um I mean, I, I, okay, I guess someone's going to, uh, you know, assume a, uh, a Digimon as a cursed object or doll, let alone how the Digimons are uh, invisible for certain peoples, right? Uh, that maybe there's a Digimon who likes a, uh, a specific toy or doll or something. Maybe I'm way off. I always like to like look too deep into these episode names, but maybe that's. What it is. But yeah, cool. In the last episode, we uh, got to meet uh, Ruli and her Digimon of choice, Engoromon, and I love the way I say that. I don't know. The I love the way that sounds, Engoromon. Don't judge me. <laughs> he says, "Really fluffy, funny-looking bastard." Uh, he's a little chunky little boy, but he's a quick little chunky little boy. And I shouldn't be calling him little boy. He's not a little boy. He's a Digimon. He's Engoromon. And, uh, I'm, like, hyped to see what his evolution could be. And, yeah, I'm just hype in general for this show. So with that, for the new Let's Do It, bye -bye. let's do the reaction. Alright, here we go. What is that robot? Was that a Digimon? It's a pumpkin. Oh. Trick or treat? Oh. Is this gonna be Pumpkin Mon? Or worse is axe. <laughs> Unless this is a kid pranking him. I don't know. That would be terrifying. What? Oh, so that little robot thing is a Digimon. Because he's see-through. I've never seen whatever that is. Wait, so now people get to see Engromon. So what is their, like... Reasoning behind it, you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what is that? What did he just do? This is when you don't press buttons. Whoa, what does that mean? Oh, snap. Yo, that's the worst. What is dark? Wait, there's... Oh, is there more than one pumpkin mon? Yo, that's not even fair. Pumpkin mon is an ultimate. Do you know how to make him invisible? What? Ah, uh, Chunky Dude is also smart. You know, that's very interesting. I didn't notice that Gamamon had wings before. Interesting. Oh. Oh, what? Oh, it's just one pumpkin mon making... Wait, no! He gave a... He put a pumpkin on... Oh, can you imagine? Oh, maybe he put pumpkins on the kids. 
He's possessing. What the hell is that? <laughs> so all the uh I don't even know what to call these things. Pumpkin kids are attacking everyone. And what is with the robot thing? Oh, they're one in the same? Huh. How have they not noticed this thing behind them? Cosmo Coon? Wait, so that thing's not a Digimon? What is it then? Oh, is that the Candlemon? I forgot what he's called. I think he's called Lickmon or Candlemon. Maybe I'm confusing him with something else. Can you imagine how that feels? Someone puts a pumpkin in your face and then starts stabbing at it? Okay. But like I said, he's an ultimate level Digimon. Oh my god, so that's his backstory. They came to this world so he feels alone. Well, this is interesting. This is a fight they've never come across. They're fighting a few different Digimons. <laughs> I do created a big ass pumpkin. Wait, so it's gonna evolve Gamamon? Let's battle Gamamon. Oh, he's crying! Yay, everyone's fine. Ooh. Alright, <laughs> cool episode, I, I I guess. Um Um Pumpkin Mon out of all the pumpkin mons there. I think there's only one. I don't know where I'm going with this. But anyway, uh it's cool, honestly one, it's the first ultimate they uh come across, and mind you, it's not like the most intimidating or strongest of ultimate Digimons out there. If you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, 
uh, Digimon goes in a very simplified uh, ranking, I guess. There's the rookies, there's the champions, ultimate, and megas. But then there's stuff beyond that, but that's like OP, super strong stuff that we wouldn't have to worry about just now, you know? <laughs> Be it that uh, the show didn't really like, made a big deal out of the rankings, at least just yet, or maybe the translation didn't really care to do so. Um, but yeah, it's not that big of a deal. So Pumpkin Mon has been terrorizing the children and the populace because he's come to this world and he's seeing people wear pumpkins and he feels like he should be uh, honored and, and you know, um, worship. And he also believes that everyone should be his friend. So he's been putting pumpkins on everyone's friend heads. He also had a few other Digimon with him, Ad Atacamon and Candomon, um, but they didn't allude to as to why. Um, was he kind of like corrupting them? Was he mind bending them? Like, why were they working with Pumpkin Man? Also, another thing about Pumpkin Man is that he was, he, he had glowy circles and stuff around him. You know, so far, every time our heroes defeat a Digimon, you know, they, they kind of like see the light. But why, what exactly is stopping them from seeing the light? Is there some sort of corruption? Is there, is there some sort of Digimon out there, you know, giving them error codes or like bad thoughts? I, I don't know. Uh, I'm sure as the plot thickens, we'll know why. Man, I was really hoping for Engoromon to uh, Digivolve, but we went back to Battle Gammon and not complaining, Battle Gammon looks pretty cool, but I'm already ready to see what Engoromon evolves into, so whatever. Also, another thing to note is uh, Gamamon has black wings. I didn't notice this before, so I wonder if he's going to go through the scenario of Agumon, uh, be it that he does have that main character aesthetic, you know, if we go back to Gilmon and Vimon and uh, Shaomon and, you know, Agumon for sure, uh, they usually have, they don't follow a trajectory evolution. They have multiple paths and seeing how you know, we have Gamamon and Betomon look pretty aesthetically the same. I wonder when the wings will kick in. Um, who knows if we're going to get like DNA evolutions or like um, something, something, something. You know what I mean? <laughs> so anyway, that about does it for my videos. Always leave me any feedback down in that comment section. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and God bless you. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.